Hi, it's Beamerzen with another short video and today I'm going to show you how to use the rope method inside the cylinder to prevent the valve from dropping too far down when compressing the spring and replacing the valve stem seal that is underneath this spring plate. So every time you're replacing the valve stem seals, you have to compress the spring and remove the keepers to get that uh, spring out and then replace the seal. And when you compress the spring, what usually happens is that the valves get a little bit stuck on the keepers. And when you are compressing it, the valve just kind of goes together with the spring and it never releases. So one way to prevent that is to apply air pressure through the spark plug hole and you can do that by using an adapter for air compressor. Now this is just a simple adapter that I've made myself using some 3D printed parts and some off-the-shelf fittings and that basically just screws in instead of the spark plug and then you apply air pressure about one bar usually and that air pressure prevents the valve from dropping too far. And this is the most common way to do this. But there is also a very good alternative, and that is to just use a piece of rope and you cram it inside the cylinder. And then that rope prevents the valve from dropping too far into the cylinder when you're compressing the spring. There's also a way where you can use no air pressure or rope at all and just compress the spring. I have a video on that, so I'm going to link it down below and up in the card. But it is a bit tricky and all the way at the back it's kind of more tricky than the rest of the cylinders. So uh, I'm going to show you how to use a rope and this is probably my recommended method. I'm going to show you this procedure on my N42 engine from BMW, but the same principle should work on all other engines. So first I'm going to determine the top dead center on the cylinder that I will be working on. And in this case, it's gonna be cylinder number one. So I'm gonna use a long screwdriver and I'm just going to place it right here. And then I'm going to rotate at the crankshaft and I'm going to rotate it clockwise, which is the running direction for the engine. So you should always rotate in this direction, never counterclockwise. Quick side note, you will probably be doing this job with the chain still installed. So each time you rotate the crankshaft, make sure that you keep this chain nice and tight against the sprocket at the bottom. Otherwise you risk damaging the plastic chain rail and this is what happened to me when I was changing the valve stem seals and later the chain jumped for one tooth and I had all sorts of issues just to figure out what's wrong. So be very careful. If you feel any resistance, stop and make sure that the chain is nice and tight and then you can continue rotating the crankshaft. So I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to observe at the top when the screwdriver is in the top dead center position. So when it starts to move back, I know it's in top dead center. And you don't have to be very precise, this should do. So now I'm going to remember that position. So it's about in this orientation. So now I'm just going to put the first cylinder in bottom most position. So I'm just going to rotate it 180 degrees. Okay. And now the first piston should be totally at the bottom. And uh, this way we can fill up the space with our rope. Here is my rope. This is just a normal nylon rope. This is eight millimeters wide and it is about one meter long. And I also marked at the 70 centimeter position because I've determined that you need about 70 centimeters of rope inside the cylinder. So let's start doing that now. And in it goes. Just cram it in.
and you should feel when it uh, kind of starts to bundle up inside. Okay, so this is our 70 centimeter mark and this should be enough. And now I'm going to slowly rotate the crankshaft clockwise until I feel resistance building up. Just do that slowly and you should feel when it starts to bind and this is it. Now the rope is pressing against all of the valves in this cylinder and now I can easily just start compressing the springs. To compress the spring I'm going to use this specially made 3D printed tool. I've made this tool myself and it works pretty well if I do say so myself. So if you are interested in uh, getting this tool and supporting my work, I'm going to put a link to my website down below where you can order this tool. The tool is in. Now we have to secure it with the nut. Okay. And now I'm just going to compress the spring. Okay, this is a very good position to compress the spring in. Okay, you can see that the keepers already released. So now I can use my magnetic screwdriver to take out the keepers. There are two of them. Let me get the other one. Now I just have to release the tension. And remove the tool. And here is our spring that we can just take out. And it's that easy. And here is our valve stem seal that needs to be replaced. So if I push down on the valve, I can see that it's pretty stable, it's not gonna fall in. So now you can replace the valve stem seal that is grabbing the valve. And when you're done replacing the seal, you just have to reverse that procedure. And of course you can do that on all of the four cylinders. My tool also come with the exhaust side, so you can do all four of them at the same time. Now let's put back the spring and the compressor tool. And we start compressing the spring again. Now I'm going to use this little 3D printed attachment. And this attachment fits onto the tip of a flat magnetic screwdriver. And you can just load the keeper in and the magnetic screwdriver should keep it in place and this way it's gonna be pretty easy to install the keeper back in. Here's the keeper loaded into the tool and now I can just install it and I don't know if you can see but it's in so it's that easy if you have the proper tools of course. Okay now let's load the second one And it's in. Now release the tension. And remove the compressor tool. And here it is. It's back together. So that was pretty easy. And when we've done all four valves, we can just undo the tension by rotating counterclockwise this time. You don't have to go all the way. Just release the tension and now you can start pulling out the rope. Yeah, it's pretty erotic, I know, for the mechanically minded people. And it's out. And this is the rope method. 
So I hope that you've enjoyed this video and learned something useful. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section and uh, I'll try and answer. And uh, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing for more videos and keep Zen and continue the art of BMW maintenance. Thank you.